Hello everyone. Today Persis and I are back at the Joshua Lane farm built in 1798 with fields all around the house. We were here last week and had some good finds and we're hoping our streak continues. So thank you so much for joining us. I had a 1920 signal here and it was fairly deep and I just popped this up which kind of I thought maybe has a silverish look to it. I don't know. I'm not What's sure what it tag? is. Is it a dog tag? No. No. Oh, it's a it's a ID bracelet. Oh yeah, it's got like yeah. some pretty on it. Oh, it's got a horseshoe. Yeah. Yeah, definitely plated. Those are like buildings. Oh yeah, for sure. That's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Huh, well, that's a cool little piece. Yeah, it is. Awesome. So, I thought I'd film it. Yeah, very cool. Alright. Well, we've been doing this hill. It's been brutal. Brutal. Sideways walking. Uh, but I just got this guy. At the bottom of the hill. And it's one of those little old blocks. But yeah. And it's got its innards over here. And... Yeah. And over here is the front. So that's cool. I got a cute little lock. That's oldish, I think. I had a 2223 signal, and right down here was this thing. I assume is copper from that coloring. It's a big old spoon bowl. So I took a few more steps and had another high signal and found the rest of my spoon. There we go. All right, got the complete one. Pretty nice. Look at that beautiful pond. Isn't it wonderful? Ah, I'm enjoying being in the shade here. Poor Mikey's out front in the sun. So I just had a 2021, and I've, there's been a lot of aluminum cans deep where I am, unfortunately. Uh, but this is what just came out, and I have absolutely no idea what it is. Um, I don't think it's a dog license. I think it's, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't have a reeded edge, but it has an edge. Like it was a coin. Yeah, I got nothing. It's not a button, it's too thick to be a button and there's no shank anywhere. <laughs> so Mike says it's a hammered coin. <laughs> it's yeah. copper, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, I just, I don't know what it is. It's a odd. hammered penny. Maybe we get some of that green off of there. Yeah. I mean, there's something there. Look, I know, I there's felt like, like there was circle something. there. Yeah, I thought I saw the circles too. So. Trying to get some green off and see if some details show when we get home. But. Okay. All right. So I just had a 21, 22. It did not go down to a 20, and it did not go up to a 23. So I was like, yes, I'm gonna dig it. And, uh, uh, this, where to go? Which way did you go? Hold on. Okay. This uh, is what I've got. So, can't be a quarter. I don't think it's a button. It's hold. Oh, that's always good. Come on, give me something. Oh, no, wait, wait, yeah, maybe. It's absolutely a coin. It has yeah. a reeded edge. It's not that nonsense I found earlier that we can't figure out what it is. It's, it's so got weird. that fraction or line on the bottom there, or a plus or something. That? Yeah, yeah. it's a plus. <sighs> I think we should wait. I don't want to okay. too much off of it. Yep, no, yeah, that's cool. Like... All right, so <laughs> mystery item number two. High 20s. Low 30s. It sounds deep, but I have to go wide on this one. Big plug. All right, well, that's probably a good sign, hopefully. All right. It's right there. I think it's out. 
Is that shiny? I think it is. I think it's the silver Washington it is. <laughs> All right. Nice. So shiny silver. Yes. 1942. Perfect. Georgie baby. Nice. Any, any mint? I'm not seeing a mint. All right, finally, silver yeah. coin. Yay! <laughs> About 2223. Yeah, same that way. All right, not very deep. Is that it? Yeah, it's a weedy. All right, like 1941 maybe, 44, something like that. Okay, well that's my pretty much my first find of the day. I just had a 2526 right near the surface and flip the plug and this is what was in there so i got a buckle i am on the board with a buckle i'll take it it's something i had a uh, 11 to 12 signal here and uh not too far down this came up it's one of those suspender strap clips possibly garter but i think this is more than likely i don't know probably suspender but still pretty old, probably uh, late 1800s. So that is cool. Sometimes they have words on them, but I'm not seeing anything right now, but I'll clean it up. Very strong 1819 saw, and it didn't sound very deep, and popped a plug, and that came right out from right here. This is a dandy vine. I don't think there's anything on it, but it does have the shank, which is cool. Again, very thin. Whoops. I think it's got a sun on it or something so it uh, looks almost looks like a sun oh yeah yeah or, yeah yeah all right well that's cool awesome. yeah. congratulations thank you this is something i have not found in a while uh, it was 15 16 signal and right down here came out this it was a type of uh, like an organ reed type thing probably like a squeeze box I mean, it's been a while ago what they call those things with the some of them had the keys and but uh yeah definitely a musical read well i just had a 1920-21 here and just saw this when i moved a little dirt to the side so i got an ox knob to go with my two tack buckles <laughs> Nice old ox knob, screw, hex nut, whole bit, whole nine yards. So I will take it. I'm in a field. It makes sense. Got a fairly strong 16, 17. Uh, came up from here. I see this, which I think is a button. Looks like it has some gold gilt on it, actually. Oh yeah, look at that. Like a nice flower with gold gilt still inside the petal areas. Yeah, I think there possibly was something on it, but. This thing looks like it was mushed. I got a feeling it was maybe raised a bit more. I'm not sure, but it does look a bit flattened, huh? So yeah, that's a nice little button. Yeah. Bunch of gold still in there. Cool. I had a really faint, oh my goodness, it was like 23 to 33. Popped the plug, took a couple big chunks out, still sweeping, it was like 35, 38. I'm like, oh, this can't be good. But I managed to get from way down there, popping up some dirt, this to fly up. Which is super thin and super worn. Copper. Yeah, I do think it's a coin. Mm -hmm. It is really thin. I'm not sure if we're going to get anything off of it. I can, you know, toothbrush it. Well, that's not going to help. Now it's all dirty. <laughs> yep. 
may take some investigation. Yeah, it's one of those types. Firm pale quarter. Firm blue copper water. Yeah. All right, well, I'll it's let this sit for a bit and uh, clean it up at home and hopefully we can get some deets on it, but yeah, eh, you never know. All right. Hey, congratulations. Welcome to the wrap up of another hunt at this 1798 farm. Here we have a bunch of iron and a ton of aluminum, brass, copper, and lead. Got this giant spoon and a little spoon bowl to a play spoon, a rosette, a couple of hose pieces, a little escutcheon piece, two ox knobs, one with uh, some horns still in it on the right, four D buckles, a suspension clip, a reed to uh, probably a squeeze box. And a little piece of the insides of a pocket watch. First has found half of a cool little lock. And this piece was interesting. It has a horseshoe with a clover on it, as well as a cityscape. I assume it's part of a bracelet, but I couldn't find any words on it. Clad coins, we got uh, four quarters, a dime, a bunch of copper pennies, and a few zinc pennies. Three buttons, including a two-hole button. This button with like a floral design type thing with a bunch of gold gilt still left in the petals and a uh, nice large dandy button and for coins we got uh, three wheat cents this turned out to be a uh, 1951 10 yen coin from Japan this one uh, not really sure I got a feeling it's a half cent do see some of the outline of a bust which reminds me of a, uh, a draped bust but I can't confirm that. A uh, 1942 Silver Washington. And this find, which was great and sad at the same time, um, I put it in a sleeve because when I got home, it uh, it started falling apart as soon as I touched it. So all the details started coming off. But it did clearly say Libertas on this side which uh, I did get a, manage to get a picture of. I took some pictures under a scope before I started cleaning and thankfully I did because I was able to ID it as a 1785 Nova Constellatio uh, with a pointed rays. Uh, this side should have an eyeball in the middle. Kind of make it out a little bit, but yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the hunt at this old home. We're gonna be hitting other places too. So for now, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope everybody's doing well and stay tuned for more.